Okay, so I'm saying bye to Carl. So, so appreciative of like everything this whole week. He's like been awesome and just so much trail magic. And he got to like, I guess, give back because he received so much trail magic mm. on his <laughs> journey. But yeah, so yeah, thanks for joining me. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah it was really great um how do you feel how did you have fun yeah yeah it was really fun it was really um i felt great to be able to get like a little snippet of through hiking in just five days it was supposed to be four days it ended up being five days but <laughs> thought it was just like a perfect little snippet of a through hike with um yeah getting to hang out with a friend and put up miles and meet other hikers and take like an unplanned zero and hitchhike a bunch and uh it was great it was perfect <laughs> Yay, awesome. Well, thank you again. And oh, I'm excited for today. Look at this sunrise. My gosh. So, my goodness, look at this sunrise. So beautiful, even though I'm right by the highway. Okay, here's where I got off. Now I gotta follow the <clears throat> blazes to get back on and go into the woods over there. This is like one of the nicest sunrises of the trail and it's over the highway, how crazy. Whoa. Okay, so after a little mini road walk, I'm back on the trail. So good morning. Wow. I feel so full and rested and excited about the day, about any, entering the Shenandoahs. So fun hanging with Carl. Yesterday, we just did 19 miles, super fast, but also relaxed. The grade was so easy yesterday. Got into town, had Chinese food. Ah. Just uh, resupplied, got everything done. And then he kind of helped me do a gear shakedown because I was carrying so much. And I think I'll miss some of the stuff I sent with him. Uh, check out yesterday's video if you want to see the gear I sent home. Well, he's going to send home for me. So thank you, Carl, if you watch this, uh, Professor. If. Uh, so, honestly, it was like six pounds, five or six, I, I guess four or five, and Carl was like, this is probably six pounds. So, even though my pack is heartily full of food right now, I feel like it's probably, like, way, it still feels way lighter. I have so much food right now, because I have four full days, even though I'm planning on getting into, um, <clears throat> the next town is Front Royal, the next resupply point, so I'm hoping to get there three and a half days, hoping to do 30s for the next three days in a row, <clears throat> and possibly a hero in, in and out of Front Royal, so I just learned the term the hero. So, not a Nero, which is like, you know, a shorter mileage day into town. Not a zero, where you take zero miles, but a hero, where you hike into town, get all your chores done, and then hike out of town. I might try that if my feet are holding up well and I'm doing okay. I do love sleeping in a bed. like when I, on the days I resupply. So I don't know if I'll be able to pull that off because the last day is supposed to be 16 miles in. Um, so that'll be a pretty short day comparatively. Um, and it wouldn't be so bad to end with like five extra miles. So anyways, that's looking way too far ahead because for now today it's like, just hoping to make it my 30 miles. I feel good at camp. I sent home my thermo rest, so I only have my foam pad now. And 
Let's hope I don't freeze, but I think I'll be okay. So, um, yeah, still super thankful for the professor and just, I've never actually had a through hiking friend meet me out on the trail. So it's really unique because he already knows everything and gets it and then like was able to, you know, resupply me um, and do all the through hiking things as if he was hiking the trail himself. So that was pretty neat. Uh, my hands are freezing and I've been going on and on. So let's see what today, let's see what we get up to. Okay, actually, I just turned that off and I also arrived at this little backcountry camping self-issuing permit. So I have to write my permit in and put it in there. Massive spider just terrified me. Look how big he is. Whoa, yikes. Oh my gosh, he looks big. Maybe he is fake, he's not moving. Ooh, maybe he's dead. I'm gonna go. <laughs> so I'll be winding along the Blue Ridge Parkway through this section. So happy about the decision to hike out this giant bag of Cheetos. <laughs> mm, I'm like snacking on them while walking and they are so satisfying. It's like, I'm so happy about it. <laughs> Easy to eat, delicious, made to be addicting. <laughs> so perfect for out here. Definitely not my favorite views for the top of a mountain, <laughs> but Huh, there's like some kind of little seating area slash, I don't know, what is this? Anyone know what this is? Is it like cornhole or something? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the comments what that game is <laughs> or if it's just like a seating area. Hmm. That looks like a nightmare. The blown over porta potties. Yikes. <gasps> okay, I think that's the tower I was just at a second ago. Now I'm at Little Calf Mountain. Cool. I think I'm about to get to the summit of another little mountain. Maybe it's that one over there. So beautiful. It's a very cute little summit pile of rocks. <laughs> wow. I think I'm gonna completely delayer. It's warm enough and I've gone seven miles. It's 10 a.m. so it's like seven. It's a little faster than 7.3 miles because I technically wasn't really started till 7.15 this morning so Nice, easy going. <sighs> Miles. Oh no! <gasps> oh, a rock cut up in my Cheetos bag. Only a few spilt, but now I have to figure out how to. This has never happened to me with a chips bag. They all cut open. Shoot. Well, only a few fell. They're not too terrible. But I'll have to find a Ziploc or something for this. Okay, got it cleaned up. That was annoying. <laughs> Okay, good thing I checked. This is the last water for like 11 miles. <laughs> so, 
I'm going to get some, but hopefully there's a good spot where it's flowing easily. Okay, I read the comments and it said to come down a little bit more. And it's flowing better, so that's really good because it would have been hard to scoop. Climbing a bit. Again. Having a little hot dog slider on a um, kind of like Hawaiian style bun. It's pretty good. <laughs> My head's on because it's a little bit buggy, but not bad. Okay, I made it to Black Rock Gap. Just another mini road crossing. Um, okay, here's the blaze. Where does the trail go? Oh, actually, I don't even have to cross the road. It just goes this way. Oof. Oof. It's looking like the PCT right now. <laughs> this little rock quarry. But the breeze feels really good. Over on nine miles to go, maybe a little less. Let's see. Oh, the trail. Where does the trail go? This way. Yeah. Yay. There's a picnic table, water spigot, and a bathroom. Awesome. Saw this on the map a few miles ago, so. I've been excited to just take a break here. I still have almost seven miles to go and it's about 5 p.m. So it'll be around eight when I get to camp. But feeling good, just a little tired by this time of the day. I think I'm dry camping tonight, so that means I need to, I just chugged a bunch of that. Now I might keep whole nother liter so that I can cook and then have some in the morning. I have like seven miles to go, so not a great water carry, but not too bad. Whew, look at this view. Okay, so about a mile and a half, maybe a little more to camp. The sunset is looking pretty. Um, I am a little nervous about having to stealth camp. Oh, there's a deer in the trail. See him? There he is. Oh, hello. There's one right here too. Hello. Oh, what are you doing here? No falling. Yeah, I am feeling a little nervous about setting up camp after dark because um, I I'm on the fence about cowboy camping or or not. I don't think it's supposed to rain according to the weather, um, but it is cloudy. <laughs> And I don't know how windy it's going to be or, or what, but I hope that it's just not too dark by the time I get there and I can actually like look around and find a good spot. Um, there are some comments that there are some flat spots, so that's good. Um, so sunset is at 7 like 42 and I'll probably get there around 755 is my guess maybe a little bit later so who knows how dark it'll be Oof. 
hopefully not too bad. Look at this sunset. Whew. Let's hope to get an opening between the trees. Okay, half a mile left. Look at the moon. Oh my gosh. Amazing. So eating dinner by headlamp, I haven't set up or anything. I'm going to after I eat. Look at the moon. Ah, well, another night of cowboy camping. I'm all in my bivy. It's so hard to see. Um, in my bivy and my foam pad and my quilt. I have my food in my backpack underneath my feet like in bags and bags and bags. Um, so hopefully very scent proof. Um, and my Tyvek ground sheet on the ground. So it doesn't feel too cold. I'm really excited for sunrise. I uh, haven't been alone in a little while, so I feel a little nervous, but for the most part, just excited about these views and to get some rest. So thank you so much for watching. I. Oh yeah, I hiked um, just about 30 miles today, so feeling really good about that. Um, yeah, so thanks for, so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.